right, welcome everybody. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I am Trisha. You can call me Miss Trisha or Teacher Trisha or just Trisha. I am a certified teacher with my master's degree in teaching. I am an American from the USA, so I am a native speaker of English. Today is all about vocabulary. Uh, we will go over some new words, work on some pronunciation, and cover comprehension within the article. The first article is at an intermediate level. Uh, if we have time, we'll get to the advanced level, and it depends on who shows up. I will also give some tips about the American accent. This is a live lesson today here on Facebook. You can also hire me for one-on-one -on -one lessons or catch my lives. My live videos will be every other weekend unless I have a conflict on my schedule. Please message me for my rates if you're interested in private one-on-one -on -one lessons. Make sure you follow me at the link www.facebook.com slash Trisha with the truth so you see the upcoming live events. You can also join my Facebook group English with Teacher Trisha. Thanks for stopping by and please comment below if you have any questions. The first article is called Student Happiness Linked to Internet Use Sleep. So you can imagine what that might be related to. Um, can you give a, a hypothesis? Can you give a prediction of what the article might be about? Student happiness, um, you know, are you getting enough sleep? How much are you using the internet? How are you feeling during the day, etc. So the first vocabulary word is skip. Skip. To not do something one is supposed to do. So an example, I woke up late this morning, so I had to skip breakfast. Skip. The next word, link. Link. To make or show a connection between two or more people, things, ideas, etc. to connect or join. An example sentence, obesity has been linked to a number of health problems such as diabetes and high blood pressure. Next word, associate or associate. You can pronounce it two different ways, it depends on the context. So to associate things, to connect two things in one's mind, to be connected with something. If you say associate, that usually means like a sales associate in a store, in a shop, in a market. But associate is to connect things. An example sentence, I always used to associate Christmas with winter until I moved to Australia. Next word, attendance. Attendance. The act of being present in a class, event, meeting, etc. So for example, when I'm teaching, if I have a large class, I'm taking attendance, we say, or I think they say roll call in, in some countries or maybe back in the day here in the USA. But um, yeah, I would call out the student's name and they would say here or present or etc. So our teacher keeps a record of our attendance in class. It's an example sentence. Next word, quality. Quality. I did this word for my um, vocabulary, my A to Z vocabulary reels on Facebook. Check it out. Uh, how good or bad something is usually compared to other things. Example sentence, I wouldn't recommend buying clothes from that website. Their products are very low quality. And the last vocabulary word, two ways to pronounce this, content or content. Again, it depends on the context. If I'm content, that means I'm happy, I'm satisfied. If I say content, that has to do with the substance of something, or you know, social media content, we say that a lot, content creators. But in this context, it's a noun, something that appears on a website, in a magazine, etc. New content is added to this website every day. So that is all of our vocabulary. And this article is from Engu. If you have not heard of it, it's a great website. If you guys have any questions about the vocabulary words, some might be new to you, but depending on your level, um, some might be familiar. Okay, so the article. Student happiness linked to internet use. Sleep. Spending more time on the internet 
getting less sleep, and skipping class. It may sound like many people's idea of normal university life, but according to research from Japan, done before the coronavirus pandemic, those things could be linked to unhappiness. A study of young people in Japan found that unhappy university students used the internet more than happy ones. Unhappiness was also associated with skipping more school and getting worse sleep. Researchers surveyed over 1,200 young people at five Japanese universities. They asked them questions about their happiness, internet use, sleep, and class attendance. Based on their answers, students were put into two groups, a high happiness group and a low happiness group. Fewer than 43% of female participants were in the low happiness group, compared to about 53% of male participants. When the researchers compared the groups, they found that students in the low happiness group were 12% more likely to have skipped a day of school and 13% more likely to have been late to class. Students in this group also reported the quality of their sleep as about 24% worse than those in the high happiness group, although that didn't always mean less sleep. On weekdays, students in the low happiness group also used the internet almost 20 minutes longer than those in the high happiness group, averaging over three and a half hours a day. On weekends, they spent more than 35 minutes longer online, an average of almost five hours a day. The author said it might next be useful to study whether there is a link between happiness and the type of content users check online. Interesting. So that's the end of the article. So yeah, what kind of content do you guys partake in, right? Okay, so I'm gonna read it again. And I'll try to further emphasize the vocabulary words and explain it a bit in the context of the article. So student happiness linked to internet use, sleep. Spending more time on the internet, getting less sleep and skipping class, right? Not going to class, not going to school. It may sound like many people's idea of normal university life, but according to research from Japan, Japan is in Asia, country in Asia. Uh, research from Japan done before the coronavirus pandemic, those things could be linked to unhappiness, connected. A study of young people in Japan found that unhappy university students used the internet more than happy ones. Unhappiness was also associated with skipping more school and getting worse sleep. So again, associated, linked to, connected to, with skipping, not going to school, right? So like, for example, if I, if I say I skipped school, that means like I just didn't go to class that day. Researchers surveyed over 1,200 young people. You could, you could also say 1,200. Um, so researchers surveyed over 1,200 young people at five Japanese universities. They asked them questions about their happiness, internet use, sleep, and class attendance, right? Did they go to class? Did they attend class? Their class attendance. So there's such a thing as in the United States, you can get an attendance award, especially if you have like perfect attendance, you show up all the time, you never miss your class. Um, they call it perfect attendance. So do you have perfect attendance or do you sometimes miss classes for whatever reason, or do you skip classes? So skipping means you're doing it on purpose. So like when you're in college or university, you have a choice, right, to skip or not. That's that's on you, at least in the USA. And if you skip classes or miss too many, I mean, you can get um, kicked out of the class, but it depends on the professor, the teacher. Based on their answers, students were put into two groups, a high happiness group and a low happiness group. Fewer than 43% of female participants were in the low happiness group compared to about 53% of male participants. So the vocabulary word participant or participant was in our last live lesson, the first lesson we did. And of course that means you're attending 
you are a viewer, like you're a participant in this live, right? When the researchers compared the groups, they found that students in the low happiness group were 12% more likely to have skipped a day of school and 13% more likely to have been late to class. Students in this group also reported the quality of their sleep, the quality of their sleep. Like, was it good? You know, did they get that REM, that REM sleep, or was it interrupted sleep? Were they constantly waking up and then trying to sleep again? So how was the quality? Students in this group also reported the quality of their sleep as about 24% worse than those in the high happiness group. Although that didn't always mean less sleep. On weekdays, students in the low happiness group also used the internet almost 20 minutes longer than those in the high happiness group, averaging over three and a half hours a day. On weekends, they spent more than 35 minutes longer online, an average of almost five hours a day. The authors said it might next be useful to study whether there is a link, a connection, between happiness and the type of content users check online. Yeah, that's fascinating. Okay, so hopefully you guys picked out all of those vocabulary words. Skip, link, associate, attendance, quality, and content. Okay, let's get to the questions now. So these are the comprehension questions. Like, did you understand what the article said? So number one, how many people took part in the survey? How many people took part in the survey? So if you remember, it was that number that I said you could say two different ways. So you can say 1,200 or 1,200. Number two, were students in the low happiness group more likely to skip class? Were students in the low happiness group more likely to skip class? So yeah, right? Yes, the students in the low happiness group were more likely to skip class. So that's a reflection of your happiness. Are you skipping class? Why are you skipping class, right? That's why it's important for teachers and professors to check in on their students. You know, is there something that we can help you with? Is there a resource we can connect you with? It's important. Number three, how did sleep quality differ between the two groups? How did sleep quality differ between the two groups? So what was different? Of course, with these comprehension questions, it's important to go back to those paragraphs, skim the lines, right, and try to find your answer. Some questions when, they, when they're asked, the answers are like very specific. We call it a right there kind of question. And some questions, however, take a bit more comprehension and understanding of, of the words that you read, right? So how? How did sleep quality differ between the two groups? So you could answer it in your own way, or you could answer it directly from the paragraph. Students in this group also reported the quality of their sleep as about 24% worse than those in the high happiness group, although that didn't always mean less sleep. So how can we interpret that? How did sleep quality differ between the two groups? So the sleep quality was worse for the low happiness group, right? That didn't always mean less sleep. Those are our comprehension questions. Do you guys have any questions about any of that? All right, so let's get to our discussion questions then. So the way that you answer these questions is in your own words. It's based on your own opinion. Um, you know, you can look back at the information in the article to kind of help you remember things and, and help inform the answer. But these are solely your opinion. There's no right or wrong answer. So number one, what are your thoughts on the findings of this study? Just what are your thoughts? What are you thinking? So yeah, you might answer, I think the findings of this study are interesting because I tend to use the internet a lot and yet I still feel happy and get plenty of sleep right so the findings could uh, conflict with your own experience or you could say you know whatever whatever your answer is right um, you know I thought the findings were very much in connection to what I already thought 
um, that of course consuming too much social media and content, internet content, um, is not good for happiness and, and sleeping. Number two, do you find it surprising that unhappy students use the internet more? I, I don't think I was surprised. No. I, mean, I think, yeah, if you use it like way too much and it's, there is such a thing as addiction, right? That um, now, you know, what's the purpose? What's your intention of using the internet so, so often, right? What's going on? If you're skipping class, if you're not sleeping well, something else is going on, right? Number three, did you ever skip class when you were a student? Why or why not? <laughs> I will answer that. Um, you know, I, w I was always a good student. Um, I thought it was important to show up. Um, in high school, I think I skipped like the end of like my last class or something. I don't know, just so we could like go out to lunch or something. Um, and of course, I was just I was influenced by other students. Um, so yeah, it wasn't a big deal or anything. I always thought it was important to show up. Um, although college and university was a bit different because again, here in the United States, and it depends on what college or university you go to, you know, the professor or teacher can have different expectations, right? Um, they, can, they can really leave it on you to decide whether or not you show up because some people can show up and still do poorly some people cannot show up and still do well. So, depends on your teacher. Sometimes they'll say, you know, you must show up every single class or else you'll, you know, fail or take a considerable portion of your grade. Um, so yeah, depends. So I would just, I would just suggest don't skip a lot, right? <laughs> I think it's just natural, it's life if you have a job, as well as going to school, you know, if you have other things going on in your life, if you have a family already, I mean, you know, it's just realistic that you might miss or skip some of your classes or be late, so. I'd love to hear some of your stories. Number four, did you often struggle to get enough sleep when you were a student? I would say in general for myself, no, but when I had a paper due, <laughs> I was that procrastinator, um, you know, because for me, writing, you know, huge research papers is not um, something that I, I hugely enjoy. You know, I love writing creative stories, um, scripts, you know, but like, you know, the night before, sometimes I would stay up all night then and write a paper, so... But in general, I would say I, I definitely got enough sleep. Sleep is a priority for me because it's so much, just it's so connected to our health, right? Number five, what do you miss most about your time at university or high school? So depending on where you are at your level of education, right? For me, I don't think I miss too much because it's, you know, you're just busy all the time. It's a bit chaotic. But I, I mean, I liked having a schedule. When, when I got um, into my master's degree, like I loved having a just month planned out of all of my, you know, due dates. Like, <laughs> you know, the comparison between my bachelor's degree and my master's degree, like just was night and day, we say. It's very different. You know, I was still pretty young, you know, when I got my bachelor's degree. So, you know, I was not focused on being so organized and schedule everything, but, you know, as I was older and got my master's degree, wow, like that monthly schedule was a lifesaver. I, I loved having that. I mean, I had to do it too because I had so many things to do, you know, so many deadlines, so many due dates. So. Of course, I liked the um, different topics I was learning about too. You know, I studied anthropology as well, so it's a fascinating subject for sure. So yeah, then each article um, of course has more questions and we can have more discussion and conversation. Um, you know, and it can be, um, if we're doing a one-on-one -on -one lesson, um, maybe I'd give you some homework if, if you enjoy that kind of thing and you can write about um, you know, your opinion of, of these things and go into specific questions, or it could be comprehension, or I could ask you to do 
some research on some things. So depending on your desire and your need and your level, we would decide that together. But yeah, I know we're running out of time. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this lesson today, this live lesson, focusing on vocabulary and pronunciation and the American accent. Hopefully um, you understood me well. Uh, make sure you do follow me at the Trisha with the Truth on Facebook. That's where you'll find the lives. Uh, you can also join my Facebook group, English with Teacher Trisha, and my main page where I upload all of my reels with the English vocabulary and English lessons is Trisha Truth Again. But yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the group or the group chat. There's a group chat too, uh, or on YouTube. Take care, guys. <laughs>